evening, everyone, and welcome to the Carl York Center at Carolyn High School. We are pleased that you can join us this evening for senior class time. We are here to honor and recognize the members of the class of 2022 for the many years of hard work and dedication they have given to Maryland High School. We realize this evening will take some time, but it's the least that we can do for the amount of time these students have put into their educational achievements. We also acknowledge and appreciate all of the parents that are attending this evening. Without you, we could not have nights like tonight. So please get comfortable and help me in congratulating the class of 2022. We will begin this evening with our scholarship presentation. I would like to begin with the Becky Salyers Memorial Scholarship Fund. It was created in the memory of Becky Salyers of Proctorville, Ohio. Becky was an RN at Cabell Huntington Hospital. She very much loved watching sports and especially those who wore green. Becky left behind her husband, Dave, and two sons, Eric and Evan Salyers. This year's recipient of the Becky Salyers Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 is Zach Cooley. This year, the Fairland High School Band Club started the Rusty Lee Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship recognizes and rewards perseverance, academic excellence, good character, community involvement. All attributes that my dad both valued and possessed. Family is grateful to be part of the selection and presentation of the award this year. We are happy to be able to honor his memory. As part of the application, students were asked to write an essay describing the quality they share with Rusty Lee. We received many impressive applications, and there is no doubt his applicants will have to be This year's recipient takes every opportunity to positively affect our school through his participation in various sports, clubs, and organizations. He's graduating fourth in his class and is the president of the Beta Club and vice president of the student council. His essay, we recall being on my dad's seven and eight-year-old all-star baseball team. The impression my dad made on him when he printed a set of personalized baseball colors to display on his team. He has plans to follow him in Rusty's footsteps as he aspires to be a youth baseball coach. This year, Rusty this year is Rusty Lee Memorial Scholarship recipient. It's Alex Ross. Alex said he didn't see him because he was playing in the district baseball game. He's exactly like that. Uh, 
Hello and good evening. On behalf of the administration, faculty, staff, and student body of Marshall University, it is my distinct pleasure to congratulate every member of the class of 2022 on reaching the significant miles. While we understand that you might be pursuing your education at other institutions, we would still like to take this evening to acknowledge your achievement. So these scholarships will serve both as commendation for your accomplishments, but as a challenge to continue to strive for academics. Receiving the level five Get Started Scholarship in an annual amount of $1,125, totaling $4,500 over a four-year period, Riley Brown. Madison Perky. Michael Pazee. Alexis Spears. Olivia White. Receiving the Level 3 Get Started Scholarship in an annual amount of $2,250, totaling $9,000 over a four year period, Tyler Sands. <laughs> Natalie Ward. <laughs> Morgan Webb. Receiving the Level 2 Get Started Scholarship in an annual amount of $3,750, totaling $15,000 over a four year period, Justin Board. <laughs> now I'm working. Receiving the Level 1 Get Started Scholarship in an annual amount of $5,250 totaling $21,000 over a four-year period of Xander Schmidt. <laughs> Receiving the Opportunity Grant in an annual amount of $2,000, totaling $8,000 over a four-year period, William Baird. <laughs> Alexis Park. Kendra Bassman. <laughs> Anna Belleville. <laughs> Michael Blake. <laughs> Ryan Chase. <laughs> Bailey Cornell. Jalen Gerald. Gabrielle 
Shepherd. Elizabeth Swolsky. Receiving the John Marshall Scholarship in an annual amount of $9,000, totaling $36,000 over a four year period, Ethan Black. Receiving the Mead E. and Althea Nance Smith Scholarship, Madeline G. Petra. Receiving the Greg Smith Memorial Scholarship, Devin A. Receiving the Carl N. and Mary Amantet Alloy Scholarship, Bailey Cornell. At Marshall University, the Society of Yeager Scholars was established to provide an enhanced university education to outstanding students who have the promise of establishing significant careers and becoming the leaders of tomorrow. Scholars with superb academic achievement and leadership potential are choosing after a competitive selection process. The Society of Yeager Scholars is named for United States Air Force Brigadier General Charles E. Chuck Yeager, a West Virginia native and the first person to break the sound barrier in his historic 1947 flight in the Bell X-1 aircraft. At Marshall University, the Yeager Scholars take a challenging curriculum, which includes multiple interdisciplinary honor seminars, development of proficiency in a foreign language, summer courses at the University of Oxford in England, and a senior project in the student's major group. Yeager scholars are required to be engaged, active leaders in their community. They are provided full tuition and fees, full room and board, textbooks, a stipend, a personal computer, and funds for additional studies abroad. They also receive a vast network of personal support and connections on campus. This year, a member of your graduating class is one of only 10 students selected across the nation to be in the 36th cohort of the Yeager Scholars. We are honored to present this Yeager Scholarship to Alexis Maria Nicole Steele. Uh, congratulations to the class. Be back in my alma mater, Georgia Tech, the 
scholarships for the 2022 graduates on behalf of Southern Camp. We know that some of the following students may have decided to continue their academic pursuits somewhere else, but we would like to recognize their accomplishments. The following graduate is receiving the Freshman Excellence Scholarship, which is a full tuition scholarship and renewable for up to four years. Zachary Tully. The following graduates are receiving the Freshman Academic Merit Scholarship for 2022-23 academic year. This is a half tuition scholarship and renewable for up to four years. Devin Parker. <laughs> Isabella Burrito. Jessica King. Gabriel Shepherd. The following graduates are receiving the Freshman Leadership Scholarship for the 2022-23 academic year. This is a $1,000 scholarship and renewable for up to four years. Micah Blake. <laughs> Ryan Chapin. <laughs> Bailey Cornell. Laura Flyman. And Maggie Ray. Receiving the Roy S. Smith Scholarship for $1,000 this year is Madeline Workman. Receiving the Dingus Family Scholarship for $1,000 this year is Brianna Rico. <laughs> Receiving the Lawrence County Bar Association Scholarship for $1,000 is Alexis Bellamy <laughs> and Morgan Webb. Next, I'll be presenting the Christy Warner Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship seeks to reward a deserving senior who exemplifies good character. And this scholarship is worth $500 to a post-secondary study. Our community lost a devoted mother, friend, wife, teacher way too soon. Christy was the most caring and considerate person I have ever known. He was someone who continually strived to both exhibit positive aspects of character and to instill those characteristics in his youth. Christy loved her family, friends, colleagues, and students greatly. She had a way of warming her, your heart with her beautiful smile. Christy and my mom met over 47 years ago when they were in the same kindergarten class and remained best friends until she was. They graduated together from Fairland High School in the class of 1987. She continued on to college at Marshall University, where she received her bachelor and master's degree. She taught sixth grade and third grade for many years. Then she became the guidance counselor at Fairland East and West. My 
As a guidance counselor, Christy worked hard to help her students make friends and treat others with respect. She enjoyed being able to work with the high schoolers to take students on a shopping trip and to lunch at Christmas. Christy also led the Character Counts program at the Fairland East and West. Here, the students were awarded lunch and praise for good character activities. Above all, her favorite part of her job as a guidance counselor was working to teach students about the importance of having honorable character. Christy Warner positively impacted many people's lives over the years, and her legacy will continue to live on through them. Each year, each summer, my brother holds a basketball tournament in her name. It is called the Christy Warner Memorial Tournament. To raise money for this scholarship and to honor a senior who also has the same admired qualities that Christy Warner displayed daily. Tonight, I am honored to award this scholarship in memory of Christy Warner to Brianna Grieco. Congrats and best of luck to the class of 2022. Good evening. I am Blair Flynn. I am the 8th grade math teacher at Trail Middle School. I was also the 2014 senior class president um, when I graduated. So I was part of the student council. So the first um, scholarships I'll be giving out is the student council serving other scholarship. Trail High School Student Council has a long history of serving others and bringing the FHS community together to make a difference in people's lives. From blood drives and canned food drives to furnishing apartments for the Golden Girls group home and raising money for local folks, facing various challenges to acts of services or to acts of service like making stockings for the students at Fairland East and collecting shoes to send overseas. The FHS Student Council tries to lead the way and encourage others to join them. In that spirit, the fair or the student council serving other scholarship. Or sorry, in that spirit, the student senior class student council of 2021 established the student council serving other scholarship to promote individuals who have pledged their continued support in serving others. For the past four years, this year's student, senior student council has been unique and exceptionally. exceptionally self-sacrificing in their dedication to help others. Beginning in their freshman year, this group has been a part of raising over $28,000 that has been donated to a variety of local charities and individual, individuals, including the Pink Ribbon Fund in St. Mary's, Golden Girls Group Home, Kent Sanborn's Family, Pediatric Cancer, Lawrence County CPS, Local Families, and St. Mary's and Cabell Huntington Hospital to purchase meals for those fighting the COVID pandemic. They have hosted five blood drives and have collected over 190 units of blood, and five canned food drives that have filled Rome, that have filled Rome Church of Christ Food Pantry, the New Hope Food Pantry, and the Huntington City Mission with over 10,000 canned food items. Along with these large donations, they have been instrumental in many small acts of kindness each year, such as personal hygiene drives to the VA hospital, sending Valentine's Day gifts to local nursing homes, collecting gloves and scarves for the homeless, putting welcome back gifts in student lockers each year, and making goodie baskets for local first responders every year on 9-11. It is for that reason that we are proud to recognize each senior member who has served during these past four years with a 
$100 scholarship. Those scholarships will be able to be collected tomorrow at, or Wednesday or Thursday at school in the office. Uh, so as I call your name, I'm going to call all 10 and they can stand in their seat. We'll give them a round of applause as a group. Zoe Weinswag, <laughs> Alex Rogers, Zach Cooley, Caitlin Fleming, Isabella Garrido, Connor Sansom, Gabby Belleville, Hunter Jackson, Kylie Hayes, and Abby Wallace. I'm also here to present the FAC scholarship. FAC is the Maryland Association of Classroom Teachers. Uh, each year the scholarship is given to a FAC employee this year, in the award of $500, this back scholarship goes to Connor Sansom. Thank you. I'm Ricky Shifko, State Farm Agent here in Proctorville. Uh, about five years ago, we started doing this uh, Legal Legacy Scholarship, uh, trying to do something to give back to the community because, you know, as an agent, we're all independent contractors. We're all free to choose how we want to give back to our community, so this was something we started. Uh, each recipient has to submit an essay classifying what they're doing to uh, Legal Legacy in the community. Uh, normally, it's you know, one or two. This year, I actually ended up picking four recipients, and, and all four were qualified for the different uh, things in their essay. Uh, first winner is uh, J.D. Brumfield. Uh, what won for J.D. was uh, a commitment to uh, do something bigger than himself. That they talked about you know, growing from a freshman to a, to a senior and, and impacting everyone along the way, not only as a student athlete, but also as a leader in school, so, so that's why J.D. is recipient. <laughs> Next winner is uh, Alex Rogers, the reason for Alex to win. Uh, not only was there uh, academic success, there was athletic success, and uh, a lot of it was about leaving a legacy bigger than himself. He talked about uh, an academic hall of fame, and different stuff he started within the school, as well as a leadership uh, position he had taken in multiple athletic teams. So that's uh, Alex Rogers, next recipient. Uh, next recipient, uh, Maddie Workman. The uh, reason for Maddie was uh, there was a commitment to uh, serve on leadership, whether it was as a student athlete, a cheerleader, or in the classroom. Everything was really tied to making an impact bigger than herself, bringing people up, making a positive impact. That's why Maddie worked with the recipient.
And the fourth and final recipient uh, was chosen based upon uh, not only the outstanding academic uh, commitment and excellence she achieved, but uh, the, the vision she created for herself. And uh, she was able to achieve, you know, not only the high level accomplishments, but it was always what she was working for. And, and not only was it done academically, but through different clubs and different commitments she made to herself. Uh, fourth recipient is Zoe Weinstein. My name is Brian Ford. I'm a 1986 graduate of Fairlight High School, and I have the honor tonight to give out two scholarships. Uh, the first one is the Greg Pittman Memorial Scholarship. Greg was a Fairlight graduate who participated in football, wrestling, and baseball in Maryland, and went on to Marshall University and wrestled for a while there in Marshall as well. Greg was a dedicated Dragon fan. Uh, everything he did revolved around Fairlight sports, and uh, he typically would tell everyone that he did not own a purple piece of clothing. Uh, because he absolutely hated Chesapeake. Uh, so tonight, the family has chosen the winner of the Greg Pittman Scholarship, Mr. Tyler Sammons. <laughs> Tyler is currently playing in the district baseball game in Shore Poppy. Congrats. My other scholarship I give out is uh, in honor of my dad, Larry Ward, Pro Scholarship. Uh, dad supported me through everything that I've done throughout my coaching career and playing career. Uh, he was my little coach. He coached everything we did. And this scholarship is something that Dad always wanted, uh, but he wanted to go to someone that wasn't necessarily the greatest athlete on the team, uh, but was a leader. Uh, the guy that would do the little things to win games, uh, the team that close to him. And uh, he wanted someone that played multiple sports. And Tonight's winner goes to Alex Rogers. Alex is also playing the baseball game. So, congratulations to both of these gentlemen.
evening. I'm Carol Adams here on behalf of the Carpenter Women's Club. I'd like to say congratulations to the graduating class of 2022. For over 35 years, the Carpenter Women's Club has awarded a scholarship to a deserving parent. You were unable to decide upon this one recipient, so this year we're awarding two scholarships. It is my pleasure to present the first award to Elizabeth. Scholarship goes to Jessica King. Hello everyone, my name is Sherry. I just want to introduce not only myself, but maybe a little cheerleader that has cheered since they were five. I had the honor with Kathy to present two $500 certificates scholarship class from Karen and the Bali. Our first award will go to the cheerleader that has cheered since she was five. Uh, her name is Holly Shiverhood. Good evening. I'm here to represent present the award of the 2022 Epcot Bell Football Scholarship. It's with great honor and pleasure to present this award. This young man has been a part of FFL since he was five years old when he can continue as he was going to sign with Marshall University and he continues to inspire and mentor our youth. He is helping to congratulate and welcome to the stage, J.D. Rumbill. I'd like to congratulate all of the uh, class of 2022 on we'll that the uh, Maryland Athletic District Court. Uh, this year we're going to hand out two $500 scholarships. Uh, the first is going to go to Alex Rogers, who played all for four years and led it all for four years. Uh, he also played uh, baseball, he played baseball all for four years and led it all for four years as well. And uh, as he said, he's playing ball today, which he and the rest of the team best love. Second scholarship that we want to give out uh, is someone who has played soccer for the last four years and lettered all four years, uh, and she's done so with a GPA of 4.56. So it's very impressive. Uh, she plans on uh, going to Marshall doing a career in CSM. So we would like to present this year's uh, email $500 scholarship to uh, Maddie Miller. Down a little bit, a little taller than I am. Good evening, my name is Shane Finster. I'm the Lawrence County Chamber President. This year, the Lawrence County Chamber awards three academic scholarships to high school students graduating across Lawrence County. This year's rigorous application review found that the overall winner meets our high standards of academic performance, extracurricular and community involvement, and a commitment to a lifetime investment in Lawrence County. Chamber's outstanding graduating senior, 
recipient of the $2,500 scholarship, Kylie Hayes. Congratulations to all of our graduating seniors. Hello, my name is Renee Marshall. I have been asked to present several scholarships this evening. First one is Cross Community Church. This scholarship is for a student who desires to serve the community and excel in community service. The amount of $500 they have worn to engage. The next award is the Dr. Janice L. Bagby Scholarship. The award this evening is given in memory of Janice, who was a proud Carolina graduate and native of Clarkville, Ohio. Graduated from the Victorian over 60 years ago and went on to earn her bachelor's and master's degree from Washington University and later a doctorate in education from WVU. She taught at several public schools throughout Ohio and State University, overseas in both Taiwan and China, and 27 years teaching gifted education and Spanish in North Virginia. In between, she had two sons and traveled all over the world from Africa, missionary work in Mexico, to Europe, Spain, China. In Vietnam. But she never forgot her roots and deeply wanted to get back to Maryland where it all started for her. After the initial scholarship that she created upon her passing, Dr. Bagby's two sons decided to continue this scholarship in the memory of their mother. The scholarship requires a student to be attending Marshall University or West Virginia University and must be majoring in education or a related field for me with children. The scholarship recipient Receiving the scholarship in the amount of one thousand dollars goes to Honor Stanley. Next is the Julie Boone Memorial Scholarship. Julie Boone graduated from Washington University in 1977. After earning her degree in laboratory science, Julie went on to work at St. Mary's, where she worked in the lab for 38 years as a lab tech, and later became a lab supervisor. Both of Julie's daughters graduated from Maryland. She cared for health and was for many kids throughout her 24 years of working in Clarkville. Julie helped many kids study for tests, do homework, sign up for the ACC, apply for scholarships, and apply for college. She encouraged every child to reach their goals and follow their dreams. Julie passed away from cancer in 2017 at the age of 57. She modeled her battle with cancer and how she lived her life with grace, strength, and positivity. She would be so happy to know that even in heaven, she is still helping students go to college and succeed. This year, there are two recipients of the Julian Boone Memorial Scholarship. In the amount of $300, the first one is Maddie the Workman. And the second is Gabe Shepard. Charles L. Bird Memorial. This scholarship is for a student attending the Ohio State University in the amount of $100. The recipient is Kylie Page. Jim and Irene Rowe Memorial and Lanny Rowe Scholarship. Mr. Lanny Rowe started this scholarship in the late 70s, soon after he graduated from college, and has continued every year to give back to his alma mater, Maryland High School. Mr. Rowe currently lives in Columbus, but every year he makes a trip back to Clarkville, Ohio, to watch the recipient accept the scholarship. This scholarship is for a student majoring in science or a science related field in the amount of $2,000. Recipient is Zoe Weinswag. For 
plan for success. Caution, celebrate students who have worked diligently to be prepared to enter in the next phase of their life. These students are academically exceptional, have participated in many activities during their high school career, and are motivated to find their best lives while serving others, thus creating their own formula for success. The amount of $200 for the recipient is Madeline Petrie. Jim Mayo Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 is awarded to Zach Cooley. University of Cincinnati Cincinnati Century Scholar Scholarship in amount of two thousand dollars a year for four years is awarded to Anna Conway. Hi, I'm sorry. Uh, first thing I'd like to do is recognize each of our seniors who have participated in band. Uh, most of them, since sixth grade, a couple of them have moved in from other places and that kind of thing. Uh, and I have a point I'd like to give them to recognize their uh, contributions. And eventually they'll get a letter with that plaque that they haven't been delivered yet, so it'll be. Uh, uh, our seniors issued that plan with the main one of the department. And Will Baird. Josh Barnett. Josh Eaton Black. <laughs> Olivia Combs. <laughs> Paige Hopkins. <laughs> Paige Axanto. <laughs> Devin Turbin. And uh, a young fellow who's only been with us a couple of years that we've been very glad to have, Tristan King. Everybody, of course, always sees all the things that the marching band does because we're out in public. Everybody and all that. But there's, uh, there are a lot of other activities that our students participate in throughout the year as well. And so there's a couple of those I want to give uh, some awards and recognition for. First of all, for the solo ensemble contest that we do every year, uh, we have a life science fair, except we got a performance solo that's a present paper. So uh, our senior who uh, participated this year was Will Bear, who received a superior rating. Also, every year, uh, our Ohio Music Education Association district hosts an all district band, which is comprised of students who, uh, when they complete the audition, from the counties of Lawrence, 
Toyota, Jackson, Athens, Megs, Calia, Venn, and it seems like I forgot what the number one was. Uh, and the students audition and we pick the best ones to get uh, to play in the group and they get together and do a, do, do a couple days rehearsal and concert. Uh, so our all district students for this year who were selected for that as the seniors uh, was Elizabeth Parker, which is my chair of blue. By the way, for those of you that don't know what it means when we say like the first chair of the group, the chair of the group, the 12th chair of the clarinet, uh, if you can imagine that you've got a the flute audition will have about all oh, 35, 40 kids. So if somebody gets first chair flute, that means they came in first. Okay, uh, that's what that is. So uh, second chair trumpet, all district is Will Beard. Chair Trombone, Devin Turner. And second chair percussion, Ethan Black. Thirty-six class nights ago uh, was the awarding of the first Richard J. Burns Memorial Scholarship uh, in band to a deserving senior who was graduating uh, and had been a member of the band throughout, throughout the school. The scholarship was endowed by former students of Mr. Burns, and I know it was 36 years because this is not 35th year, and the first one was the year before I was here. Uh, so, uh, so each year we get to award a scholarship uh, in, in his name. Uh, it's $250, uh, and it's most importantly a great honor to win. This year I selected from their applications Elizabeth Barker. Every year at high schools around the country, uh, high schools award to an outstanding senior bantam, an award called the John Colt Sousa Award. John Colt Sousa was uh, an early American composer from the late 1800s into the early 1900s, most notably known for the marches that he composed, like Stars and Stripes or Ever, that we all know. Uh, but he did lots of other music too, not just marches. Everybody knows. So around the country, this award gets awarded to a senior bantam, uh, and they receive an award for that. And then there's a plaque that stays at the school forever with a list of all the names of the people that have ever won the award. I think the earliest one in our trophy case out there for our school was 1960. Okay. So there's been, uh, we're only supposed to award one, and every now and then we get to the two, but Mostly it's always one senior every year. And it's always a very difficult choice because, well, this year we have 10 seniors, uh, and, and, and I can think of 10 people that deserve to win, but I can only pick one, okay? So this year I, I picked uh, Devin Turner. Congratulations to all of you and good luck in your future endeavors. I forgot one, I'm sorry. Uh, you all uh, to our marching band all the time. And few of you see the concert band. It'd be nice if more of you did, but nonetheless, when we do our spring concert, this, this is full. Uh, 
But we don't just play concert church school. In, uh, in March, we play at a district ratings event in Shawnee State and received all superior ratings. And the way those work is, if you get all superior ratings at the district level event, you qualify to get to go to the state level event. So uh, on April 28th, 29th, whichever one of those is Friday, we hopped on the bus and ran out to Wright State in Dayton and performed at the state level adjudicated event, uh, where we also received all superior rates. Uh, so the kids, uh, if they get a superior rating or an excellent rating, they get, they get a medal for that. So the kids that play with us out there and get a medal for their state superior rating, Elizabeth Parker, Will Beard, Josh Barnett, Ethan Black, Olivia Coles, Paige Howard, Nevin Turkman, Nevin Young, and Christian Kidd. Thank you.
That's part of the long one program. We just got a new sound system. We don't know where the bird's hiding at, but we understand it's here. We're working on it. As part of the ongoing program to promote sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity, the High High School Athletic Association is continuing the program to recognize students who display exemplary sportsmanship. The award is named for Mr. Archie Griffin. Mr. Griffin is a high native, the only two time recipient of the High School Trophy for football, and is also a professional athlete. He always displayed exemplary display sportsmanship. Mr. Griffin, the current CEO of the High State University Alumni Association, has been active in promoting sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity for many years. He was honored in 1998 as the recipient of the prestigious Ohio High School Athletic Association Ethics and Integrity Award. This year's recipient of the Mr. Archie Griffin Award, male. Female is Maddie Miller. The Ohio High School Athletic Association continues to award the Courageous Student of the Year Award. The award is presented to a student who has overcome a tragedy or difficulty in his or her athletic career. This year's recipient has overcome so much stress and hardship. PC has battled back from the hardship to earn a football scholarship at the University of Toronto. PC Hudson. The National Federation of High School Board of Directors, the NFHS Citizenship Committee, and the Ohio High School awards one male and one female student the NFHS Award of Excellence each year. This award is to be presented to a student who has exhibited qualities that embody good citizenship, good moral character, and good sporting behavior. Individuals should also be positive role models and encourage others to be positive role models. Now recipient, Mr. Amy Porter. Female recipient is Molly Hayes. It's part of our ongoing program, which encourages achievement. The classroom is well on the playing service. The High School Athletic Association would like to recognize some of the state's top scholar athletes by awarding the Ohio High School Scholar Athlete Award. This award is presented to one male and one female student who has earned at least four varsity letters and is graduating in the top of their class. The male recipient is Mr. Connor Sampson. The female recipient is Lexi Stewart. Each year, the Ohio High School Football Coaches Association select 33 players from all the high schools south of Interstate 70 in Columbus, in Columbus Ohio, to represent the South team in the annual North South Football Game. Fairland was last represented in 2020 by Gavin Kern. This year's Fairland, this year Fairland was represented for only the seventh time in school history. Mr. J.D. Brogan. Each year, the Ohio High School Basketball Coaches Association select 12 players from the high schools in Ohio to represent Ohio in the annual Ohio Kentucky Basketball Hall for Year. Farrell was last represented in 1991 by Ryan Scribner. This year, Farrell was represented for the only the second time in school history by Mr. Amy Porter. <laughs> Coach Danny Casey started a powerlifting program back in the early 80s. 
in a small way room on the stage in the old high school. Over the years, this program has grown and become highly successful. Actually, back to back to the junior. Current proud looking coach Josh Pender would like to present a scholarship to one male and one female in honor. Male recipient of the five hundred dollar scholarship, Mr. JD Brooklyn. The female recipient is Morgan Webb. At this time, I would like to present the Green on Green Chorus for the student athletes. These are students who have participated in two or more varsity sports, earning a 3.5 GPA or higher. We'll begin with Aiden Porter. Alec Bruce. Alex Rogers. Bailey Cornell, Cameron Mayo, Connor Sansa, Dave Shepard. Holly Shackleton, Jalen Carroll, Jessica King, Caitlin Fleming, Kylie Hayes. Miller, Patty Workman, Micah Blake, Morgan Webb, Ryan Chapin.
At this time, we would like to recognize our graduates receiving cum laude. This is a 3.5 to a 3.799 GPA. They will be receiving their green and gold cords. Paige Howe. Gray Black. Alan Bruce. Natalie Ward. Gabe Shepherd. Morgan Webb. Aiden Porter. Alec Wilkes. Tyler Sammons. Emily Grant. Kendra Faisenbach. Julian McIntyre. This time we would like to recognize our honor students. These are students with a cumulative GPA of a 3.0 to a 3.499. They will be receiving their Dragon Medal. Alex Nichols. Abby Wallace. Mariah Johnson. Alex DeMint. Lexi Bellamy. Alexis Spears. Riley Brown. Jacob Kraft. Josh Barnett. Riley Kazee. Madison Burdine. Preston Counts. Sadie Brunfield. Anna Riley, Olivia White, Jordan Bench, and Ty Probert. This time we would like to recognize our student body officers. They will be receiving their skulls and a pin. Class representatives, Gabby Belvo. Hunter Jackson. And Abby Wallace. President Zoe Weinsweig, <laughs> Vice President Alex Rogers, <laughs> Secretary Zach Foley, <laughs> Treasurer Isabella Burrito. Dorian Connor Sampson. <laughs> At this time, we would like to recognize our outstanding seniors in the subject area. Physical Sciences, Kylie Hayes. Social Studies, Alex Rogers. Life Sciences, Holly Scheibelhood. Mathematics, 
Chloe Weinstein. English, Elizabeth Skolsky. Spanish, Kylie Hayes. Publications, Gabby Velvo and Zach Tully. Instrumental music, Ethan Blatt. Vocal music, our female, Maggie Rankin. And Mel James Johnson. Family and Consumer Science, Elizabeth Barker. Art, Jessica King. Ceramics, Gabby Belvo. Media Arts, Abby Roberts. And Graphic Design, Gabe Shepard. very special. We have two individuals that are enlisting in the military this year that we would like to recognize. Our first that's enlisting with the Navy, Keith McGrady. And secondly, Emma Bush, Army. Next, 
we would like to recognize the students that participated in advanced placement courses, AP courses. They will be receiving their green and black courts. And this is an even longer list. You can stand your applause at the end. Abby Belleville, Ethan Blatt, Bryson Brown, Ryan Chapin, Austin Ferguson, Caitlin Fleming, Bree Greco, Kylie Hayes, Hunter Jackson, Jalen Gerald, James Johnson, Jessica King, Tristan Kipp, Cameron Mayo, Evan Miller, Maddie Miller, Anna Monslack, Madeline Petrie, Maggie Rankin, Abby Roberts, Alex Rogers, Connor Sanson, Holly Scheibelhood, Dave Shepard, Lexi Steele, Elizabeth Schwolsky, Zach Tolley, Devin Turley, Zoe Bonsbag, and Kayla Workman. Congratulations. Next, we would like to recognize the students that participated in Family and Career Community Leaders of America, FCCLA. They will be receiving red and white cords. Again, this is a very long list if you want to hold your applause at the end. Will Baird, Devin Barker, Alex Elizabeth Barker, Lexi Bellamy, Abby Belvo, Trey Black, Micah Joe Blake, Riley Brown, Madison Burdine, Jonathan Fox, Bailey Dean, Caitlin Fleming, Isabella Garrido, Bree Graco, Casey Hudson, Mariah Johnson, Riley Kazee, Cameron Mayo, Maddie Miller, Anna Monblack, Eliana Perez, Madeline Petrie, Laura Flyben, Sarah Rochella, Maggie Rankin, Bianca Rice, Anna Riley, Abby Roberts, Holly Scheibelhood, Alexis Spears, Elizabeth Schwolsky, Natalie Ford, Morgan Webb, Olivia White, Dave Williams, and Maddie Workman. Congratulations. This time we would like to recognize the members of Spanish Club who will be receiving your tricolor boards. Anna Belvo, Ethan Black, Caitlin Fleming, Bree Greco, Kylie Hayes, Kaylin Carroll, Jessica King, Anna Monblack, Madeline Petrie, Connor Sansa, Lexi Steele, Devin Turley, and Zoe Weinswag. Congratulations.
This time we would like to present the students that donated at least two pints of blood to the American Red Cross. I don't know how you all do it. I can't even come in the gym when you are doing that that day. But, here. All right, receiving their red cords, Devin Barker, Elizabeth Barker, Devin Bellamy, Ryan Chapin, Isabella Burrito, Reed Draco, James Johnson, Kristen Kipp, Evan Miller, Laura Fiven, Maggie Rankin, Connor Stanson, Holly Shivelhood, Alexis Steele, Devin Turley, Zoe Weinswag, and Gabe Williams. Congratulations. Mr. Corby said he wanted me to make an update in the baseball team about the three to nothing. Okay, not only did they, each of those students donate two pints of blood, but they talked to other people who donated so much blood that they were able to um, give out two scholarships from the American Red Cross this year to $250 scholarships. The recipients this year. Isabella Garrido, and Tristan Kip. At this time, we have perfect attendance. We have two students that had perfect attendance all four years of high school. Not only all this year, but all four years of high school. And I'm really proud of them. That's quite an accomplishment that's difficult to do. I mean, how many of us have trouble making it every day of the week? So, Austin Ferguson and Zach Tolley, congratulations. <laughs> Kristen Kip, 
Evan Miller, Alex Rogers, Connor Sanson, Devin Turley, and Zoe Wenzler. Or next, we would like to recognize students that have earned honor roll all year long. If you already have a patch, please tell Mr. Gorby you will only be earning your year pin. This is a long list, so if you want to hold your applause at the very end. Kayvon Masanta, Paul Atkins, Will Baird, Devin Barker, Elizabeth Barker, Josh Barnett, Kendra Basenbach, Devin Bellamy, Gabby Belvo, Gordon Bench, Trey Black, Micah Blake, Ethan Black, Dustin Ward, Riley Brown, Alec Bruce, Katie Brumfield, Madison Burdine, Ryan Chafin, Dylan Conrad, Bailey Cornell, Preston Counts, Hayden Kraft, Cora Crum, Bailey Dean, Alec Dement, Seth Dement, Kim Dingus, Wyatt Dunlap, Austin Ferguson, Caitlin Fleming, Isabella Burrito, Bree Graco, Kylie Hayes, Alex Sosinski, Julian Hopper, Paige Powell, Hunter Jackson, Caitlin Cheryl, Mariah Johnson, Riley Kazee, Jessica King, Kristen Kipp, Cameron Mayo, Evan Miller, Maddie Miller, Anna Monclack, Alex Nichols, Madeline Petrie, Laura Clyburn, Aiden Porter, Hi Probert, Sarah Rochella, Maggie Rankin, Sienna Riley, Abby Roberts, Alex Rogers, Tyler Sammons, Connor Sansom, Holly Scheiberhood, Andrew Schmidt, Gabe Shepherd, Alexis Spears, Lexi Steele, Elizabeth Schwolsky, Zach Tully, Devin Turley, Abby Wallace, Natalie Ward, RJ Ward, Morgan Webb, Zoe Weinsweig, Olivia White, Alec Wilkes, Kayla Workman, and Madeline Workman. Congratulations. <laughs> The Senior Exemplary Character Award will go to Zach Tooley. Zach, if you could stay up here. You get to present today. By Collins Career Center, outstanding senior by student vote. 
Alan Rhodes. Our outstanding senior by student vote, Kylie Hayes. I was voted on by the student body. Congratulations. Next are two outstanding seniors, one male, one female, as voted on by the faculty. These are our, outsta our outstanding seniors for Jones Award, Zoe Weinsblatt <laughs> and Connor Sansom. Thank you all for attending. Congratulations. Have a good evening.